Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Talk Navigators and this is the market update for Tuesday, April 19, 2022. On Sunday video, uh, I told you that the market had pulled back down, however, to get into the buy zone. So we're looking for some short-term rebound in this market, be able to find a support. And uh, today, they'll be able to push it back up uh, with a strong bullet momentum here. So the question here is the market is still be able to hold on and continue to uh, the upside. So uh, tomorrow and the next couple of days, uh, let's see the market be able to get back to the downtrend line here. In order for the market to turn bullet, they have to clear this downtrend line resistance here in order to move higher. Otherwise, this one will still be a strong level of resistance that we have to watch out. If you look at the uh, uh, NASDAQ, it also found a support, and now they try to find a way to put it back up to retest the downtrend line there. It, the Dow, it also found a support, uh, and now they try to put it back up again. So let's see if they're able to carry this momentum and and continue for the next couple of days. If you look at the uh, Russell 2000, uh, it's still choppy sideways. However, they also have a strong support here. And today, they try to make a U-turn here in order for the market to uh, get more bullet in it to move up and stay above uh, this moving average and push it higher. If you look at the uh, crude oil, it also uh, choppy up and down here, but uh, uh, they are not moving bad. They have to sideways uh, choppy, uh, depend on the situation uh, on the oil production uh, around the world and the war in Ukraine and uh, Russia there. If you look at uh, gold, uh, they uh, put it back, but they hit to the sell zone, so now they pull back down again. So this level is still hold a strong level of resistance at this moment. There. If you look at the natural gas, it also, uh, I told you this one, it, uh, watch out, and then the last two days, it, they are too far, too far. They hit to the sell zone, so they pull back down. So uh, they, something that goes too far, then they will uh, slam it hard down to the downside. They don't have a level of uh, support until this level here. If you look at the, um, if you look at the uh, um, uh, euro, it also uh, try to find a support at the buy zone. They're looking forward to rebound back to the upside. If you look at the Bitcoin, Bitcoin it, uh, also found a support at the buy zone that we roll here on the weekend. Now they try to find a way to put it back up. Uh, let's see how far they can go. Same thing like Ethereum at the buy zone, push it back up. So if you look at the 11 sector of the SB500, uh, let's say before I get to that level, let's say look at for the volatility index. To the last two days, the wicket pull back down. They help the market to stabilize. Uh, so that's a good sign. Okay, people do stay calm right now. Even the political issue is still going on in between Russia and Ukraine. And the inflation is still uh, go to the roof, as you can see here, they continue to make it high, 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 low, and then uh, shoot it up to the upside. However, this is the sell zone that they have to deal with, okay? Hopefully, it, when they hit to this level, they will fall up, and then uh, it can help uh, uh, a lot of technology talk, try to find a way to put it back up, okay? Uh, if you look at the 11 sector of SB500, the... Uh, um, material uh, also gain momentum today. They come back down a little bit, but today uh, they gain momentum here. So they have uh, they need to get back to the zone here before they can break out there. They need to clear this area there. Uh, and a lot of stock there is still uh, doing well, as like you can see here, like active, right? Mm, and those stock I show you on the weekend, uh, it, okay now uh, still uh, uh, very strong here okay so you can see here those stock are just very strong move uh, look at the uh, uh, communication uh, uh, service it, uh, they doing okay here yeah? they hold up they pull back now they try to find a way to put it back up um, and some stock in there still hang tight there like Verizon or T-Mobile Okay, so those stock is uh, still hang tight to the upside there. If you look at the uh, energy, it, uh, it's still strong here, uh, okay, but they are a little bit extended. So if we are still in the uptrend, 
uh, we are to uh, uh, to go long then we get more the longer than they do a high 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 low here the momentum will still shift it to the upside and you can see some stock there like uh, Axon Mobile okay or Chevron they are still uh, try to retest the high here in order to go higher they have to pass through this level okay so watch out for this level there if you look at the uh, financial sector, it also found a support and rebound back uh, for the last two days. Uh, but overall momentum with the downtrend line still here. So, but in the short term, we're looking for some kind of rebound up to the upside. Um, uh, let me see here. But uh, some stock are still uh, doing well. Okay, as you can see here, like um, American Express. I told you. Okay more people travel uh, even banking uh, a little bit tougher but for the uh, visa uh, for the american express they are still doing fine okay visa uh, try to turn around because more people are booking on the travel so uh, though uh, 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 visa and american express are still doing very well there if you look at the uh, 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 industrial uh, after they pull back down, a lot of to go sideways. Today, they gain back momentum. So in the short term, we're looking for some moving back up there. And uh, some stock that we mentioned uh, on uh, weekend, that like uh, uh, Catabella, okay, it still hang tight to the upside there, okay. Uh, let me see, uh, John Deere, okay, another strong one there, okay. Uh, the technology it also tried by the support as you can see earlier NASDAQ is trying to turn around so uh, XLK okay, it, it tried to buy back up but uh, let's see how far they can go here depend on the, uh, the interest rate and inflation there it, it can tell you the fate of the uh, technology stock however you see some some good stock like Apple to hang very tight there Amazon it did try to gain much more momentum today. Uh, Microsoft it also found some support there, but Netflix it the uh, only one that it, it very bad. Look at the chart; they had to continue to hammer after hour uh, like eighty point drop because bad earnings. So you uh, it's tough, but, you know they in the downtrend you have to stay away uh, before the earnings there. If you uh, looking for the uh, XLP, which is the consumer table. It's still doing extremely well there with the high inflation. This guy will continue to push it up. And uh, some stock that uh, we always mention, like Coca Cola, is still strong there, but it's a little bit extended, so you have to be careful there. Uh, uh, GIS, okay, Genesis, or Yellow Mill, I'm sorry, it's still hang tight to the upside there. Uh, look at the real stake, it also. Try to turn around today. If they can clear this resistance here, they will still have room to roll. And uh, some stock like PLD, okay, they are trying to come back up, try to punch through this level. If they can clear that area here, they even more bullet. Uh, like uh, PSA, okay, the stock continue to make it higher. The utility at uh, um, the SLU uh, do. FLU utility sector uh, they are a little bit extended so be careful with this level because they are deep and stock if the market is go back up those guys to jump be sideways for sure and the reason I say so is because some of the stock they are losing momentum like NEE uh, DVN right you see that those stock are still uh, jump be sideways that's why uh, uh, the uh, uh, XLU to have some uh, problem there, okay, because they are too standard. But the XLV, <coughs> XLV at the uh, healthcare sector, uh, they are uh, uh, too choppy after they should have make it high, high, but and then they fell up. And now, at, uh, let's see, they'll be able to hold up here. If they drop below here, the momentum they can ship back right away to this level. So that's why you see a lot of stock that they are to uh, have some problem also. They are strong, but now they are start losing momentum. Uh, let's see if they can uh, find a way to put it back up. Uh, BMY, uh, Pfizer, okay, this one, other 
strong till it is turned back down. So they have a strong support here. Let's see if they can find a way to push it up again. Um, uh, some of the stock are still doing well, but like Johnson Johnson, this guy here tried to put another high high today. Okay, uh, and the uh, XLY and some this cushionary it also have a strong support at this level here. So this one is very interesting tomorrow. Um, uh, if the Tesla now earning, if it's good, then this one is to have room to put it up there. So, um, uh, and you can see that uh, a lot of stock in this sector is still doing well, uh, like TGT target, also pretty strong there, okay? So a lot of retail wholesale, they are doing pretty well. So uh, that will help the uh, uh, consumer discretionary sector uh, put it higher in the future. Okay, so I think that that's what we have for you uh, right now. The uh, overall market is still uh, tight for the support. Let's see if they can carry the momentum and push it up uh, to the upside again. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you are busy, you can uh, uh, check out uh, our um, money zone method. That's where we uh, pick the stock and uh, with the entry target and stop lot that should you, so that you can follow. Again, thank you for watching and then uh, I will see you on the next video. Take care everyone.